Um, this reading contains both light messages and the heavier messages for you all so if you do not want to know the answers to these questions please do not watch this video okay lots of love to you all hello my beautiful angels welcome back and to hey uh and hey to everyone that is new as well so i am still away at the moment i am pre-recording this i am back on monday um so if you try and get in touch with me at the moment me out of office is going to be on okay so what we're going to do this week is a request that we had a, a couple of weeks back and it is why are they acting this way so why is your person acting the way that they are with you now because i've been at the tarot conference and because uh, I met the artist last year, we have these two decks to choose from, and these two people I met. This is Janet Pedalato's um, Mystical Dream Tarot. And those of you that are Bowie fans, this is David Giangelis' uh, Starman Tarot for the Bowie fans out there. So what I need you to do is think about you and think about your person. And as you're thinking about your person, I really want you to feel that heart-centered energy that you have for them and push it into the deck that you are most drawn to. This one's just went dead heavy. Okay, fabulous. So let's do this. It's a quick one today. Like I said, I'm a deck one. I've, I'm so busy before I go and I'm pre-recording it for you. So... Okay, let's do it. Can you get me into deck number one's energy, please? Deck number one. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So the first thing that I'm getting through my right ear... Um, when it's my right ear, it's always higher dimensional beings, higher dimensional guides, um, you know, the higher vibrations. In my left ear, it's my very close guides. In my right ear, it's always archangels, angels, higher energies, okay? So what first thing that's coming through is a song, and it's Exile by Taylor Swift, okay? And that's kind of how you guys are feeling at the moment, that you're in exile. Okay, why are there people acting this way? Let's see what they... The old tarot say... Why are they acting this way? So the first thing that's coming up is there is, could be, potentially for a few of you, other people influencing this such situation. So it could be family, it could be friends, um, it could be if they are with someone else. Again, you would know about that if they are with someone else. Um, but there is overall an influence of other people in this situation. Let me get a few more. How many more do you want? Let's do two more at the top. Why are they acting this way? One, two. Okay. So first of yeah, first and foremost, there is an influence of other people coming up within the cards. Okay. So again, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be that they are already with someone else. But if that is the case, you are going to know about it. All right. Um, they've also been quite influenced by these people's choices and decisions on the situation. Your person at the moment can be a little bit easily the same manipulated is probably the right word your person can be quite manipulated by other people and when people start kind of putting seeds and motion seeds in their in their mind your person starts creating these motions with what the people are saying very much listening to other people's judgments and other people's opinions on things so there is that very strong influence of other people coming into why they are acting like this being influenced and being judged by other people so that's helping them to make, well, that's making them make these choices and decisions that they are. Your person um, over here is watching you from the sideline. Okay, so even if you're not in contact with them or it's gone a little bit peak tongue, they are still watching what's going on. There does feel to be a kind of a toxic, I've got hair in my mouth, a toxic energy going on between the two of you. Very kind of an addiction based energy and um, that your person is still watching you, they are still looking over you, they are still seeing what's going on, they need to get their fix from you. So it could be that they're watching you on social media, um, or they're asking perhaps these people that are influencing the situation about you. Um, either way, your person is standing on the sideline looking in and seeing what you're doing. Now they get a little bit, they try not to overly look at your social media because they get scared of being stung. They get scared that they're going to see something um, that is going to hurt them. And again, it's kind of the same with you guys. You feel that you, you if you're um, if you're watching them on social media, you're a little bit worried that you're going to see something that you don't want to see. And it kind of puts you in this oh shit energy like what am I doing what's going to happen where is this going what's going to go on next 
And the other thing that's kind of coming up over here with these two cards is saying that your person isn't really sure how to handle the intensity of this connection. So one second it's very love based and the next second it's very sexual based. And they're trying to walk this very thin line, again that exile song coming up, they're trying to walk this very thin line between these two energies and they do struggle to meet in the middle. I just had a really strong clairvoyant of someone walking on a tightrope. It's like they could fall off either way and it could become really emotional or it could become really sexual and they're trying to balance those energies out but your person isn't necessarily very good at that so when it comes to you and when they're trying to balance these energies out they can um, sometimes be a little bit ignorant or rude or conceited however you want to perceive their actions okay but they are forgetting that every action that they have has a reaction with you so when you react to this tightrope action over here you get a reaction then they get a reaction to your your reaction every action has a reaction okay and likewise the other way around so when that happens your person um chooses to kind of go off into this hideaway going off and hiding again and saying well you know what um i will just go into this this bubble as such i will go into this bubble and i will just put up a brick wall so that you guys watching can't reach me so that is going on with them as well. Now over here on the other side of things, on the flip side, let's flip the side, um, your person's emotions for you are very real. Again, this kind of sexual energy coming forward between you both. Um, sometimes they can feel a little bit overwhelmed with the connection between the two of you. You guys watching are very divine beings um, and sometimes that kind of I don't want to say freak them out but they just don't understand it they don't understand your energetic level you don't they don't understand how you've had such an influence on their life especially if you've only known them for a short amount of time and um, so they can see that you know perhaps sometimes the the spiritual energy that you bring with you can be dominating their earthly energy and again it's this kind of energetic transfer between the two of you sometimes that will panic them and make them step away from the connection you've also got um over here what we got at the top Again, these kind of balancing energies out. Your person's trying to keep balanced on the situation, but they're not doing such a good job with it. Um, you guys are trying to follow your intuition on it. And there is a little bit of a mix match of your energies over here whilst your person is not communicating with you what it is that you want to hear. OK, um, they don't tell you what you want to hear. And part of that is to kind of keep you dangling on a, like a carrot and a Rudolph, I just saw. You know, kind of dangle you on a little bit of a string for a while. Sorry, my nose is being funny. Um, because they don't want you to go anywhere. They don't want you to move on from the situation because they have got these emotional um, ties towards you. They don't want you to move forward from the situation. They want you to still be there. Um, over here as well, if you look at this moon card, you have the sun and the moon energy. Again, indicating that this is a very divine relationship between the two of you. You might find that it's circumstances that you guys can't be together rather than um, you questioning how your person feels about you. In this kind of connection, you'll often know how they feel about you, but there will be circumstances and reasons why you can't be together. And that is why your person's reactions are kind of going the way that they are. You guys, again, in this very strong, sexual, passionate energy, you've become quite enlightened through this connection. You've had this period of very strong spiritual growth and you're starting to feel more grounded on it. Your person's emotions are kind of flying around everywhere and they don't really have that sense of grounding. They don't really know what to do about the situation with the two of you. Now, that being said, if we go to the bottom line over here, we have got kind of positive outcomes coming forward with you guys. So your person is going to start balancing these energies out a little bit more it is still going to be backwards and forwards I do feel I do feel that you are going to still be kind of playing this tug of war with have you ever played that you know when you have the rope and you're pulling one side and they're pulling the other there is this kind of tug of war happening between the two of you but there is a lot of cards of these kind of energies merging you know your energies merging together so if you guys are not in contact there is this return of this energy this energetic frequency this energetic merging um you have got this longer term objective that it is going to come to pass between the two of you um, and your person is going to start to feel a little bit more at peace with the connection. Your energies will meet in the middle. So at the moment, one side is the masculine, the feminine. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with tarot and lenormand, it always works masculine and feminine energies. So one side is you, one side is your person. At the moment, you might feel that you are not meeting in the middle, but when these energies align between the two of you, you see the connection align 
lining you have this merging and with that merging you've also got that peace that comes with it so you and your person are going to come to a place of peace it's going to take a lot of strength within you you guys are feeling really really tested at this moment you're worrying about deception you're worrying about lying you're worrying about if they're being honest with you and you're scared of kind of getting poisoned by the connection you're really scared that this connection could be toxic could do more damage than perhaps it is worth and it's going to take a lot of strength within you to kind of push through this okay um but your longer term objectives over here with the chariot is suggesting that you guys can make it work and that there is this unconditional love that is coming from it so why are they acting this way you've got the influence of other people you've got all the energetic stuff that is happening between you both you've got the emotional and sexual energy kind of um trying to find the balance between the two you've got your person giving you a little bit and withdrawing you've got the actions and reactions between you and your person and why they handle the situation the way it does you also have this very strong love energy between the two of you um, but from that you can sometimes they can feel overwhelmed on an energetic level level or a physical level and um, you have your standing there feeling a lot more balanced even though you're going through a rough time you're feeling more balanced their emotions are everywhere they're trying to avoid they're in a state of avoidance um from there, you've got your merging of your energies coming together. It's going to take a lot of strength within you, okay? Especially if any of you are called Sophia, by the way. Sophia coming up here. Um, it's going to take a lot of strength in with you, uh, strength within you. You might feel that at some points this relationship has got very, very toxic. Um, remember to keep putting yourself first with this. If this is something that you do not want to be involved in, then you do really take a step back and think through your choices okay and from there you have got the potential for this to work as your energies align but it depends on how much you want to put up with how much you want to do with it you know and um, how much more can you can you kind of put up with with them let's just do your lenoma i am gonna do your lenoma i wasn't gonna but i am let's do your lenoma lenoma Okay, what's their overall outcome with deck number one and their person? Yeah, your person is definitely very stubborn on the situation and you might feel that there hasn't been much movement going on between the two of you. Um, there's an awareness of things being revealed to you. And again, perhaps deception has happened here. Again, it might be deception on how your person... Um, has handled the situation and the actions and reactions but you've also you've got this panic and this worry that they have deceived you um okay so let's talk this let's show you these so you've got tower and book so this is saying that your person um is in this kind of very strong mind frame with the book over here this is talking about secrets being revealed what these secrets are what's kind of coming out is this deception um that you're going to feel that people they've let you down and again it could be that your person is deceiving themselves rather than a physical deception between the two of you um but this is just kind of showing why they are acting that way from this deception you are going to be hitting this more kind of successful time okay so you're going to see things in a very very different manner and when you start seeing it through a different manner you've got the bouquet at the end which is suggesting that you guys can find a way to make it work if that is what you want okay so that is what is happening with deck number one okay so i know it's quite a quick one today as i said i'm super super busy with the tarot conference i'm not going to poland well i won't be in poland by the time you get this but i am going to go to my second home i'm going to glastonbury uh for a couple of days just to recharge rejig go and have some healing waters and um you know go to the the tour and things like that so i couldn't get to poland because the government changed the rules um but i am going to glastonbury now so i won't be here um when you get this i'll be on my way home um kind of so i'll be back on monday anyway that is the point so i'm sorry it's super quick today but like i said i'm super busy with the conference coming this weekend okay guys lots of love to you and i will speak to you soon god bless that number one okay guys deck number two let's do this so um yeah let's do it so i have to do it this way those cards are so long deck number two's energy can you get me into deck number two's energy please think about your person for me can we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes so it's just a quick one today because i am currently away and i'm pre-recording this um so that you guys do get something on the day that i am gone 
or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two as well. Okay, let's do this. Can you tell me why are there people woo, acting this way? These cards always remind me of a bit of a kind of acid trip. They're so bright and colourful. Why are they acting this way? If you are, if you are I don't know, new to tarot and you want to look with symbology rather than um, knowing the actual card meanings, this card is a good deck for you because there are so many symbols on it. I'm just going to get eight. Five, six, seven, no, six. The guy's just like, that's not, that's not eight. So I've got a song for you. I've got, oh my God, was it Gabrielle that sang this? Dreams can come true. Blah, 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 blah. I'm into you. You know you got a head on. You know you got to be strong. That one. No, not that I can sing. Um, okay, so why is your person acting this way? So potentially with this guy, some of you guys are involved in third party relationships. Now, if that isn't the case and you're not involved in a third party relationship, your person is feeling out of balance. Now, if you are involved in a third party relationship, you will know about it. This isn't going to be anything new that I am telling you. You will already know about it. So your person has been feeling a little bit triggered, a little bit stuck. Spirit are definitely saying triggered. So what's happening here is that you and your person, the energy that's coming up within you both is triggering one another. So you're kind of going um, a little bit like chalk and cheese at the moment. You're kind of on opposite ends of the spectrum. It's like a magnet. Spirit just showed me a magnet. On one side of things, you're really drawing to each other. And then on the next, on the flip side, you kind of have that repelling. And that is the way your connection is going at this moment in time. So you're either being really drawn to each other or you are repelling. And that is where your energy is heading at this moment in time. That's where you guys are at. So you might feel this really strong pull and urge towards your person. And then the next second, you might suddenly feel like, oh my God, I want to I wanna just kind of step away. And your person is kind of in this energy as well. So you might find that they're being a bit hot and cold, a bit, a bit, little bit backwards, a little bit forwards. Um, they are feeling kind of on top of their game with this and I know that sounds a bit contradictory because they're acting in a very strange way but they are feeling quite in control of this situation it's like they are the ones that are calling the shots on this and you guys are just feeling like you're a cat chasing its tail essentially that you're not really sure how it's going you're feeling a bit upside down a little bit turned around um you're not quite sure what pathway you should be taking your person is trying to be quite level-headed on this especially if they are involved with someone else they are trying to be level-headed on the connection between the two of you um, and again it's making you feel a little bit like why are you being like this what's happening why are you acting in this way now with that being said your person can see that there is potential between the two of you with your page of pentacles over here there is messages that are going to be coming forward from your person towards you that are based on stability um, and security so they're going to come towards you with some form of offer and um, just beware of false promises spirit are saying make sure that you do pay attention to their actions and not their words because anyone can tell you what you want to hear but it is really important that you do pay attention to your person's actions okay and um, again with this please as well follow your intuition follow your gut instinct and keep grounded on the connection so if you haven't grounded yourself with this connection and you're feeling a little bit up in the air do imagine plant roots coming from your feet or if you like tourmaline crystals or a stick of tourmaline crystal in the bra if you need to ground yourself and um, now the other side of things again for my little third party followers if you're a third party watching this and your person is with someone else that connection that they are with is going to come to a close it won't last it won't stand the test of time and they are still clinging on to the situation with you OK, so they, they haven't forgotten about you. They haven't um, let it go. What they're trying to do over here, if you can look really clearly, is they're balancing their head and their heart. So they're trying to keep balanced on it. Their heart is dragging them towards you. Their head is saying, no, I need to act on logic. And this is why they're trying to stay grounded. Again, they are the ones that are feeling in control of the situation. And you are the one that's kind of I just got picking up the pieces uh, by, was it Paloma Faith? Now, the one that says, now she's gone, I'm picking up the pieces. 
So what's going to happen with you and your person is they are still clinging on to the situation. They're balancing their head and their heart over it. And even if they're kind of being quite stubborn and not doing anything at the moment, when you are gone, they will be picking up the pieces. And that's why that song has come up. Oh, that's why Spirit are giving you that song. Um, you're feeling like your head is completely spinning with it all at the moment. You don't really know what you're doing or what you should be doing. Um, you're almost feeling as if you've lost the magic of life a little bit, especially with the more spiritual uh, people watching this. You know, you are people that believe in mag in the magic of life and the magic of everything that's going on. And 2020 has been a hard year for everyone. But with this situation as well, it has made things extra, extra difficult for you. So you're feeling like you've kind of lost the magic a little bit. To give yourself a little bit of space, it's not a... Oh, over done and dusted or anything like that um you just need a bit of downtime you know really focus on yourself for a bit do all things that are, are for you rather than for your person you know at the moment it's like you've been putting them first especially with them being in the control of the situation it's time to flip that energy and put yourself first okay and if you do that your person is going to start wanting more from you and heading towards you um on a more rapid a more rapid um speed okay so at the moment, it is this kind of stubborn, sticky energy. Um, but the, the more you take the back seat with them and put yourself first, the more it's going to switch into your favour. The less you give them, the more you will get from them, which always sounds contradictory. Um, but your person is someone that likes to chase. And now they feel so in control of the situation. If you put the control back into your hands, um, it's going to reflip it's going to flip the scales, the justice scales are going to flip and their heart-centered energy is going to come towards you rather than their mind, okay? So from there, we've got the lovers and the empress. So the, the potential between the two of you, as I said, is really strong, it's really good. Um, the empress talking about giving birth to new ideas, new opportunities, potentially children coming up in this as well. And they're either children coming up that they are have already got kids or you're wanting kids, children potentially isn't, uh, I don't want to say it can make things a bit more complicated between the two of you, the issue, uh, the thing with children, okay? You have the lovers over here, which is saying, again, the two of you can be together, that there is really good potential between you both, um, that you you do feel at the moment that you're kind of doing this little bit of a dance, spirit is saying you're doing a, a dance with this helix energy, um, you're scared of getting stung, but you can't stop going, you can't stop being drawn to the honey, honey to the bees, bees to the honey, you can't stop being drawn to your person. Um, and again, like we said, there is potential over here for this to be shifting and moving into your favour. Um, we just got to unbox you from the cage that perhaps they have put you in. So you've been feeling quite trapped because they're in control. And if you can, you know, don't allow them to clip your wings, you can fly. And if you fly, this can come back round into your favour. Over here we have the chariot and the alien, you've got the chariot as well. This is talking about longer term objectives being met, that you guys can be together. In fact, you know what, you guys want to be together, it's just that you go about it very different ways. It's the yin and the yang, it's the light and the dark, it's the duality between the two of you. Um, so you want the same things, but you can go about it very different ways. Um, at the moment, again, you're feeling like your person is more in control of this than you are and you're there feeling the heartbreak and pain. And you see you've got your three arrows coming in here and you on them on the other side, they're feeling more in control of it. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. You've got the letter G coming up here if anyone is in relation to the letter G, if your person's name. Um, you can make this work, but it's going to take time. And the way it will work is with this alien card, the hermit. OK, if you retreat from the situation, if you give yourself a little bit of time out from it and um, if you follow your passions and ignite your passions, you are going to become more enlightened from the situation and you're going to see a different way of dealing with it. You know, and it is going to take some inner soul searching. It is going to take some meditations. It is going to take some chakra cleansing and balancing everything along those lines. But if you just put yourself first, take a step back, the new doorway is there to open. And remember, doorways are always opportunities. Opportunities. There's always new opportunities when doorways are in, you know, coming out. And you're going to come from this black space, this darker space into the light. 
and you're going to feel a lot better about it. And when you start to feel better about it, this is when your person's going to start feeling this very strong emotional side of things and they will make these moves towards you. And you've got the potential here for your longer term objectives. Um, it is going to take work. You know, it's not an overnight fix. This isn't something that can just change overnight. But the more you focus your energy on you, the better this is going to work out for you. OK, so I know, it, like I said, it can sound contradictory when I'm saying don't put all your energy into your person, put it into you. But Neville Goddard would say um, Neville Goddard was a, a manifestation guru. Everything on our outside world is a reflection of our inside world. If you are focusing on lack, you will create more lack. So anywhere that that is happening, that you are feeling this kind of distance or um almost desperation spirit are saying that your person is is far away from you breach the gap of lack and the way you'll do that is by putting yourself first because again outside world is a reflection of our inside world if we are whole and complete within ourselves your person will be whole and complete with the connection towards you and you will get more from this than perhaps you have as of yet i'm just going to do your lenama as well because i did it with debt number one let's just ask what is going to happen these are caro machetes uh, I met him as well, using all the decks of people I've met today. Okay, can you tell me um, what's going to happen with deck number two and their person? What's going to happen with deck number two and their person? You've got the tower as well. Tower in the uh, Lenormand is very, very different from tower in tarot. Um, but deck number one got the tower as well. Oh, and snake. Oh, lovely. Okay. So you might be feeling a little bit deceived by your person. You might be feeling as if they've let you down. Um, perhaps, again, third party situation coming up here. If you, you will know about that, you will know um, about someone else if you are involved in that. So basically what we have over here is your man is kind of, as we said, in control of well, your man, never sexually orientated to gender specific. Is a hunk though, isn't he? Um, so your man is in control of this situation, kind of really taking the strength from the situation. You're feeling quite drawn from it. This strength you might be feeling they are using to deceive you, or again, if uh, if there is third party, you'll be feeling that they are the ones that are in control of this situation, and um, that you're not really sure how you're meant to be progressing with it. And there is this temptation coming up over here. Spirit are very clearly saying temptation. Your person might have narcissistic tendencies as well. Um, and you might be feeling as if they're icing you. You might be feeling a little bit cold from the situation. But with that being said, kind of at the end with the man, another man kind of coming up here, even though it's icy, you two are going to end up, they are going to, even if you're having a bit of time apart, whilst all of this stuff is going on. Okay, so the three in the middle, them on this side. On the other side of it, they will be looking back towards you. OK, so again, as we said, the more you control the situation, the better it is, the more you put control into your side of the situation, the better it's going to be. They will come towards you with an offer. OK, you've got your rose over here. So at the moment, they're in this situation and they're kind of distancing themselves with all of these blocks as such in between. Once um, you put the power back into your hands, they will turn towards you, look towards you with some form of offering. And that is why they are acting that way. Okay, guys, uh, and that is deck number two. So I am currently away. I will be back when you get this. I'm coming back on the Monday. Um, so if you need me, at the moment, my out of office is on, but it will uh, come Monday. It will Everything will be back to normal, so I will be here. Um, I hope you've all had a really good week. Thank you for um, supporting me, as always. I love you all to pieces, and I will speak to you soon. God bless my angels.